Just a random thought. What, what does ESPN stand for? Because I, I do not. If somebody would have asked me that, like on a test or something, and it didn't have multiple choice, I would not. Even if it did have multiple choice, I don't know what ESPN stands for. But anyway, yesterday was a crazy day in the world of the Baltimore Ravens, in their world of wide receivers. Um, a lot of receiver talk yesterday because there was a lot of receiver action yesterday. Um, the Ravens, they signed wide receiver Mike Thomas to the practice squad. Not who that Mike Thomas, but who they Mike Thomas, uh, who a former who they Mike Thomas. Um, they signed him to the practice squad, and that had a lot of us scratching our heads like, huh, like, what'd they do that for? Um, and then, uh, like an hour later, it came out that the Ravens put in a claim, and they got Sammy Watkins, who had just been released from the Packers a day before. And it was like, oh, okay, you got Sammy Watkins. And it was one of those moves where it's like, you think it's going to happen, but at the same time, it's like, ah, I don't think the Ravens, are they, are they going to actually, it would be very Raven of them to do it, but are they actually going to, and they did it. They did it. Um, so it had a lot of us scratching our heads, but then uh, we found out the news about Devin Duvernay and him probably getting ready to be out for the rest of the year. Now, um, there's one kicker to that. If if it's a serious injury and he's done for the year, then he can't come back. But if, because they place him on injury reserve, so he has to miss at least the next four games. Now, if he was ready after game four, then that would mean, and, and the Ravens obviously were in a position to bring him back. That would mean that the Ravens, they won a playoff game because they have already been mathematically eliminated to get the number one seed. So they ain't having no bye week. So they, they, they playing week one of the playoffs. They playing. Um, but if he could come back, that would mean the Ravens won and they advance. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I'm not expecting him to, to be in a position to come back. But anyway, um, John Harbaugh, there was a presser that. The Ravens had a couple of weeks ago when the Odell Beckham news first off flowing around and stuff. And Josina Anderson, she reported that the Ravens were a team that had been in communication with Odell Beckham Jr. Again, Josina Anderson, she has been covering this Odell Beckham Jr. thing from jump. Um, and of course, it, it's been seeming like the Cowboys have been doing everything in their power to try to get other teams to stay away from Odell Beckham Jr. Because they want them all for themselves. Because it's, it's like one of those things with the Cowboys. It's like, if we can't have them, then you can't either. Because that's what it seems like. Because Cowboys were doing all this public flirting with Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, we like Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, we, wanna, we want Odell Beckham Jr. to join us. It was coming from Jerry Jones himself. It was coming from media. It was coming from different players and whatnot. Oh, we would love for Odell Beckham Jr. to come join us. And then Jerry Jones, even uh, last week, or was it earlier this week, where he said, oh, a deal is imminent. We're we going to sign Odell Beckham Jr. He's going to be joining us. And I'm like, oh, okay. And nothing happened. Nothing happened. And then, of course, before that, um, he, Odell Beckham Jr. had visited with the Bills. He visited with the Giants, and he visited with the Cowboys. And everybody but the Cowboys, they were, they were hush hush on Odell Beckham Jr. But the Cowboys were like, no, hey, his medicals ain't clearing. It ain't looking like Odell Beckham Jr. is going to even play. I don't know how his knee's holding up. It ain't looking too good. That only came from the Cowboys. So it seemed like Cowboys were really trying to shy people away from Odell Beckham Jr. But back to the initial report uh, that talked about the Cowboys, Giants, and Bills being interested in Odell Beckham Jr. It also listed two more teams. Um, being interested in him as well and being in conversation with him. And that was the Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and then Josina Anderson, as time continued to go on, she also reported that the Ravens had remained in conversation with Odell Beckham Jr. And now yesterday, Rich Eisen, he continued to confirm what Josina Anderson said. That the Ravens are still talking, not only just the Ravens talking to Odell Beckham Jr., but the Ravens leader. Their leader of men has been talking to Odell Beckham Jr. Let's just read the report verbatim. From Rich Eisen's show, show, he said, If you're wondering who the mystery team is on the OBJ sweepstakes, Rich Eisen just revealed that during the production meeting for Baltimore versus Cleveland Week 14 game, John Harbaugh said he talked to Odell about joining Ravens Flock. So John Harbaugh said it. Harbaugh. And we remember that presser from... Yeah, like two weeks ago, where Harbaugh was like, oh, no, we, we, we haven't even had conversations about Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, that's, we're not thinking about that. Hasn't crossed our minds. Not on our plans. Da -da -da -da. And you know what's funny? When we uh, did our review of that presser, 
Um, somebody in the comment section said, oh, so this means that they are talking to Odell Beckham Jr. Because when Harbaugh says something, you got to go with the opposite, especially when he says something so direct. And looks like whoever said that was right. Whoever said that was right. So the Ravens seem to remain interested uh, in Odell Beckham Jr. And the Ravens, like, <laughs> they, they assembling... They assembling an interesting squad, man. They really are. I saw somebody say, man, if, if this was 2014, well, Ravens would be killing it. Because they talked about, uh, especially with Deshaun Jackson and um, Sammy Watkins and whatnot. But Ravens receiver room is, is, is really interesting. It's a very interesting unit. And it's a unit that has changed a lot over time. And, hey, will, will they bring on Odell Beckham Jr.? At this point, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, I remember before I said that I did not think it was going to happen. Um, Odell joining the Ravens. Because, uh, again, it, like, what it, can he really contribute this year? I know all the talk. Oh, yeah. The, the most recent talk has been that he is not looking to play in the regular season um, and that he would just really be playing in the playoffs. But he will spend the rest of the regular season really getting acclimated to the team and whatnot. Um, but what I just. I just have, even if he did join the Ravens, I would just still have such a hard time thinking, oh, we got Odell, oh, well, well now that'll really push us over the top. Now, he would definitely take a little bit of attention uh, away from Mark Andrews. <laughs> you know, all the attention been on Mark Andrews. All of it. All of it. Like, and I know Mark Andrews was a big reason why so many people kept saying, well, hey, the Ravens don't need wide receivers, buddy. We got Mark Andrews, buddy. That's our wide receiver one, buddy. And my argument was, hey, Mark Andrews is great. But what happens when Mark Andrews gets taken out of a game as he has been taken out a lot of them this season? And you see the results. Now, the Ravens are 9-5. and five. They're nine and five, and it is a beautiful thing, especially with everything that they have had going on, uh, even with the, the the missteps that they took with building this roster. Overall, like mostly, the, they they did a pretty good job of building the roster. Over, but yeah, there's there's a couple positions where it was like, okay. Um, and again, I said it before the season. My biggest question marks going into this season was that wide receiver and inside linebacker. And they, they address one of them big time. Obviously with the addition of Roquan Smith. And you know, he ain't going nowhere. Especially with them wanting to re-sign him before the season is up. But then there's wide receiver. And it's like, ooh, okay. Uh, all right, cool. And now the Ravens are scrambling. Now we know injuries de definitely happen. The injuries have affected them big time. With Bateman, it's been unfortunate. And then now with Duvernay, it's like, man. They lost Tylen Wallace too. Harbaugh said that Tylen Wallace could actually come back, um, but it's it's been rough, man. I know everybody put the, the, the stat out that the Ravens wide receivers ain't caught a touchdown since week, not week three. Was it week six? I don't, I don't even remember. It, it's been what is it? What is it? It's been a, ten weeks, eleven weeks. I don't even remember what it is. But I keep seeing it floating around. I, I forgot what the exact number is. There've been opportunities for them to catch touchdowns. Sometimes it's been a uh, drop. Sometimes it's been Lamar missed him. Uh, sometimes it's been they slowed up. Uh, sometimes it's been Huntley ain't got it to him. Uh, it's, it's, it's been all kinds of reasons. But you put all that together, and it's the same result. Uh, there's been a lack of production. And, again, it's not just the receivers themselves. It's, of course, the scheme and whatnot. And, and we, we know how that goes. But the fact that the Ravens is still scrambling around for receivers. And it's like, when do you learn your lesson? What is it going to take for you to learn your lesson? What does it take? What was it going to take? And Harbaugh, remember, hey, I, I can't quote it because I don't remember it, but remember uh, the early this year? We're not going to beg wide receivers to come play for the Ravens. If you want to win, you don't, you don't care about your numbers like that. Come play for the Ravens. And if not, we'll line up across from you and we'll beat you. <laughs> and now, he's like, again, I ain't going to beg for no run. But th this says 
John Harbaugh said he talked to Odell about joining the Ravens. Now, not saying he's begging, but hey, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's always interesting because somebody made up a really, really good point. Um, a couple of people. They said, man, the Ravens, they load up on defense. They load up on all these quality cornerbacks, the secondary. They make sure their secondary is right. Obviously, before injury and whatnot. Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey. Brandon Stevens, okay. They, they got Kyle Fuller. Drafted Kyle Hamilton early. Signed Marcus Williams, $70 million. Kept Chuck Clark. They got that secondary looking right. But it's like the secondary, their job is to shut down all these wide receivers and whatnot. It's, it's, that's their job. That's what they do. Lockdown, baby. No fly zone. So if Ravens know receivers matter, they load up on defense to stop them, but on offense, they don't load up on them. And it's like, huh. So it's like they know, but they don't all at the same time. So it's just, that's, that's something that's it's been a little weird. But anyway, with Odell Beckham Jr., he would be an interesting ad. Uh, but then I wonder too, because a lot of uh, the whole Odell Beckham Jr. stuff, it just really seems like it's for the future. Um, like it's for more so next year than this year. Uh, of course, he could contribute to a team this year on offense, on, on in the playoffs. But I know I just, what, what could he really do? What could he really do? And I think it would be one of those things where I feel like people wouldn't really respect Odell until he like made them respect Odell and show that, oh, yeah, I can, I can still make a big play. I can still get explosive. I, I can still be explosive. Like, I think it would be one of those. And it, with Ravens, hey, it couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt to take the risk. Couldn't hurt. To add, it could not hurt. It could not make things worse at all. It couldn't hurt. Um, but how much better could they be? But I think it would be one of those things where teams, they, I think they will leave them one-on-one initially. Yeah, you may have a little safety help over the top, but you're not directing all this attention to Odell Beckham Jr., until he actually shows like, oh, oh, okay, that's Odell Beckham Jr. So, will the Ravens make the move? I mean, apparently they're trying. They're still trying. Um, but we'll see what comes of it. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, let's see if today is as busy as yesterday was. Because yesterday got crazy, man. It got crazy. This, that, 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 that. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And like the Ravens are not when it comes to being in the OBJ sweepstakes. We out.